Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at a problem that at first sight seems like it'll take a long time and a lot of effort to solve, but that in fact with some simple reasoning turns out to be quite easy to solve. The problem is to find the unit digit, that's the last digit, of the sum of the factorials of the first 100 natural numbers. Let's do the maths. Well, clearly one way to do this would be to calculate the factorials of the first 100 natural numbers, um, work out the sum of those, and then we would have the unit digit. But very obviously that would take a long time, would be very, very laborious, and in any case there is a much better way. We can calculate the first few sums and see if we can deduce a rule or an expression that gives us the last digit without having to work our way through the whole calculation. First of all, one factorial is one. Now if we calculate one factorial plus two factorial, this is one plus two, which is three. Continuing, one factorial plus two factorial plus three factorial is one plus two plus six is 9. Next, 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial plus 4 factorial is the previous result, 9, plus 4 factorial, which is 4 times 3 factorial, or 4 times 6, which is 24, and 9 plus 24 is 33. Well, so far our last digits have been 1, 3, 9, and 3, and it's hard to see any pattern emerging yet. So moving on to 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial plus 4 factorial plus 5 factorial is the previous result, 33, plus 5 factorial, which is 5 times 4 factorial, or 5 times 24, or 120. So we have 33 plus 120, which is 153. Now can you see a pattern? Well, we'll do one more step, and then you'll see it for sure. Next up is 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial plus 4 factorial plus 5 factorial plus 6 factorial, which is the previous result, 153 plus 6 factorial, which is 6 times 5 factorial, or 6 times 120, which is 720, and 153 plus 720 is 873. Notice that in the last three results, the final digit has been 3. Is 3 always going to be the unit digit from now on? Notice that in general for any sum, 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial plus 4 factorial plus 5 factorial, all the way up to n factorial, from 5 factorial onwards, the terms are k factorial where k is greater than or equal to 5, and k factorial is k times k minus 1, and so on, up to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So among the factors of k factorial are 5 and 2 which when multiplied gives 10. And so the result of the operation will always end in 0. It doesn't matter how big k factorial is, it will end in 0. And this doesn't add anything to the last digit. So the last digit of 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial plus 4 factorial all the way up to 100 factorial will be the same as 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial plus 4 factorial which is 3. So the unit digit of the whole sum will also be 3. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting. You might like to experiment with your own examples. 
Uh, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you again very soon to discover more maths.